The last basic function from the dplyr package we need to cover is the summarize function. So what does the summarize function do? Well, let's take a look. Well, let's just type question mark summarize here and see if we can get some information about it. Summarize from dplyr. And what does it do? Summarize multiple values into a single value. So this is basically like if you want to get the average of a column, you can use the summarize function for that. So let's take a look. Let's experiment with it. So we can type summarize. And by the way, you can use it with a Z or an S. Both work. I prefer the Z, so that's what I use. But you can use the you can use it with an S as well, like this. So let's summarize our data. And what do we want to summarize? Well, the way you do this is first you name the column for your summary table. Uh, let's say, well, let's take a look at our data here and see what we want to summarize. Maybe we should take our calculated, let's take our calculated flight gain and just see what the average is, right? If we want to create a table for that, we can say average flight gain and then assign to that the mean of the flight gain column. Okay, so what I've done here is I've said summarize data and now I'm going to have a single column in this summary table that has the mean of the flight gain. So when I run this, it's just going to print out here because I'm not assigning it to anything. Uh, and we get an NA here, okay? So the key here is that we need to also exclude NA values because some of the data does not calculate in here for the flight gain. We could find some NAs if we search for it. Uh, so what we'll do is within here we also want to remove NA values and so we need to get familiar with this NA remove parameter and for this we'll say NA remove equals true so the idea here is we're saying do we want to remove uh, NA values before we compute this and the answer is yes this is similar to like removing NA's from an Excel file before you calculate the mean uh, but now we'll get a value here so we get 5.65 so that was really simple and very helpful we can also add more right so if we want to have an additional summary column we'll add a co comma to the end of this and this is getting a bit large so let me see if I can zoom out for a sec alright I changed my I changed the sizing here to 18 and let's see if this is a little bit easier to see now so what do we want to add? We could also do the average of this other this other uh, column we created, the average gain per hour. Same idea. We can say mean of gain per hour. And then similarly as above, we want to remove NA values. So NA dot remove. And now when we run this, we're going to get an extra column here. So now we have both. And their name, too. So this table down here, we have a column name, its type, and then a value here. If we took this exact thing here and, and said uh, maybe add a summary here, we could actually look at it over here. And so if we click in here, we can see what this table looks like. So now we don't see the type of value it is in this table. We just say average flight gain 565, average gain per, I don't know why I said GPS, I meant gain per hour. Okay, average gain per hour 3.26. So this is a really quick way to make summary tables of your data. In the next few videos I'm going to be going over grouping all of these functions that we just learned about into very useful and powerful ways. So I'll see you then.